So if we are looking at the first part which is horizontal and we assume that the red represents the swing path and the blue represents the club face alignment. The edge of the table here is representing the target line and at any point in time if the swing path was into square to in therefore pointing at the target at the moment of impact and the club face was also square to that swing path therefore also pointing in the same direction uh, towards the target then we would say that the alignment was so. If the club face is open to that swing path or closed to that swing path that would be the representation that you would see. And what's interesting is that the only time that the ball will start in line with the swing path is when the club face is also pointing in the same direction as the swing path because the ball always starts closer to the face than the path. When the club face angle is open to the swing path, clearly the ball will always start closer to the direction in which the club face is pointing than the direction in which the club face is swinging. That is the same for any other swing path and club face combination. So that if the club face, if the swing path was to the left and the club face was pointing at the target, then the ball would start closer to the face than to the path. And the amount of curvature through the air would be determined by a number of things, but mainly the amount that the club face is open and the speed at which the club is actually swinging.